And they know where he is. So this is going to be a tough move here. Oh, very exposed. He gets through just enough. Avin sitting with 118 health. I'm going to go back over to uh, Bio Boosted. Bio Boosted with a mere 38. This is going to be a tough play for him, but it is possible. It's basically, he's got to hit two rails. And, uh, Which he has proven he can do. Yeah, but this is going to be tough. Oh, wow. Nice dodge. We're looking for the pixel. Now he's really in trouble. Yeah. Actually, that might be that might work to his advantage. That that rocket jump that seemed pretty fake, you know. But it, it seemed real, but uh, it was sort of a fake affair. So this is it, right here. I think we're about to see the next play. Oh, <laughs> oh God, it's ridiculous. Evans is right here. My boost is right here. Oh, there it is. For 13 health, avin has got that done. Four and four is the round score. Nice standoff between these two players. And you can just see the thought process unfold. Adam's going to need to watch his six. Um, Bio boost is uh, getting owned by Avin's LG. Great work by Avin. 13 health versus 12 health. Amazing. Yeah. And, but that was a great, uh, <laughs> that was a great little cat and mouse thing. I definitely enjoyed that. We're gonna watch Masita at the start of this round. And Masita gonna get double teamed, down to 36 health very quickly. And uh, I'm imagining so Melito gets a frag, so that's gonna give RKM an advantage. Masita gonna try to even the score. Instead, QET loses one more Masita on the run, running into two guys, but they both fell down, so now Masita is all that uh, stands in the way of RPM's point. This should be just maybe a rail. There it is. Five and five. So QN, QET and RKM keeping it neck and neck here on DM6. And uh, now no one's really even going to the bridge. Look at this, folks. Great uh, pop and pull by Avans. And getting that initial frag for RKM. Look at this triple team. That is a uh, nice destruction. Let's take a look at the survivors for QET. A lone survivor is going to be Bio Boosted. And he's got to deal with all four. So this round pretty much is going to go to RKM unless something magic happens. Getting crammed in that shotgun area. Very hard to get away with your skin. And uh, now we're going to see. That now's the time for RKM to try to pull away. Three, two, one, fight. Past that halfway point. If they don't, they lose. Yeah. It's over. There's absolute desperation point for Team RKM. We got an even mana situation. Oh, three and three. So close. Nice rockets coming out from Savvy, and he's gonna get Mesita as well before he goes down. And we have a one-on-one -on -one situation. Base man with a solid 150 health. Although it's getting torn off. Base man not hitting his shots. Now he's in a bit of trouble. Nice rail though. Great anticipation of movement. Too close for comfort. Six and six. QBT keeping this close. And once again, Baseman landing a great set of rockets. Manages the midair, and now he notices a guy over at rail. Pulls down Saturday. He's gonna go deal with this guy as well. Nice job here. Although it's uh, Tuto getting the midair against Baseman. And uh, that will actually not be enough to give them the round. QET picking up round number 13. We move into round number 14. Here it is. And now everyone congregates on the bridge. Masita getting double teamed down to 35 health and will go boom. Avins getting the advantage for RKM. They want to tie this thing up one more time. And uh, Melito is in pretty good position to do that, but one rail is going to pull him within rail death ability. Gonna try to cut off at rail. He's going to kind of watch himself. I don't know.
know about rockets right here. There you go. Nice switch up to the man. Falling in. Let's see if we can get that final shot. Yeah, and the, the final survivor for QET will not be someone I can get over to in time because he is dead. And we move on to round number 15, 7-7. Seven and seven. We have a tie round score. And uh, blue is set up at RL and red RKM set up at bridge. Let's go take a look at Savvy. Moved over to the L I mean, rather to the rail. Getting a lot of uh, great unanswered rocket damage. We'll finally get a bit of splash. Turns and does a spin rail. And uh, he will eat oh, another rail from another direction. Ever seen one. Yeah, that was a great, great movement though. He got out of there with his life. Tuto getting another frag against QET. So now we can see RKM having a two frag advantage. Savvy's pretty low, but I don't think it's going to matter anymore because the final survivor is going to be bio boosted for QET. And RKM going to win for the kill right here. And they're going to take the lead eight to seven. Nice. My, my, my. Now it's crunch time. It's either tie the maps or go home crying. And RKM. Nice frag there for Avans. Yeah. Bio boosted. Evening that score. We're going to see Melito. Melito as the final survivor. In fact, Mesita bringing that into QET's advantage. And here's the press. It's going to be Mesita with a great set of LG. An unstoppable, unstoppable lightning gun work by Mesita. And he will give his team a tie one more time. We move into round number 17. Masita getting dominated by rockets, but dishing out a bit of damage his own. Can he get the frag before he goes down? 64 health. Lands a rail. Lands another and just 14 points of splash. Lands another rail. And right now, Masita just dishing out damage. In the last 30 seconds, he's 30 or 40 seconds, he's just out three rails to about maybe 15 points of rocket damage, and that will give his team this round. We've got Melito getting railed. Uh, finally pulls down Mesita, but having to pull through two, not going to happen. Bioboosted is there to give QET the advantage. It is do or die time round number nine in favor of QET, RKM, in round number eight. They got to win this one to stay in it. Bioboosted. Match point. Yep. Set Let's point. Take a look. Savvy going down, not looking good. Avin's going down as I get to him. Tuto, full health, full armor, final survivor, maybe pull through three. This is the moment. It's all on Tuto. That's one. There's one frag. He's still relatively stacked. Mm, yeah, but one rail's gonna change all that. Nice rocket smashes. Gets him out of that situation. It was sticky. Can he get this frag? 112 health. He's getting out of there. Oh, it pulls down Masita. So this is it. This is it. Right here. Can Tuto get the final shot? Against his QET, but he oh does tie it up to nine to nine. Wow, pushing this thing into the final possible round between these two teams on this map. And let's see it go live right here and right now. Holy shit, balls! Arkham holding down RL and landing a lot of damage. QET now does no longer have the man up advantage, and the Savvy going in for the kill and getting it done. Three and two is the man up score. Make it two and two. Bio boosted, evening it up. Savvy dodging a rocket that was aimed straight for his it's temples. Heat, and now he needs to do what his teammate did one round ago. Savvy. Very so similar, much pain. Actually. Oh, wow. Fantastic. And he gets it done. RKM takes it. Ten to nine. And we move on to a tiebreaker, nice. folks. Very nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Best map ever, yeah. That was amazing. I I'm watching IRC. It just lit up. Fantastic. Never seen that before. <laughs> that was very exciting, really. <laughs> yeah, Sim3 says this is like Mighty Duck shit right here. <laughs> the Requiem has to go through two maps now. Mm -hmm. So they're still fighting to survive this next map. Uh, this is going to be Hidden Fortress. Uh, this is a great map, I think, for Clan Arena. Uh, you really have kind of two main areas. We're watching one of them. Uh, this is a bridge area. We've got